So I'm in my office right now and I'm just getting on to Silhouette Studio to kind of make my stickers. And this is the printer that I use. It's the HP MV Photo 7855. Oh, and now all I need to do is finish cutting these stickers and sort them out and then I will start packaging up my orders. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing an Etsy video where I'm going to fill my orders and package them and ship them out. And I think I have about 10 orders right now, maybe a little under. I don't have too many. On my shop I sell stickers and I also sell cash envelopes. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm mostly going to be working on the stickers because I do have a little bit of a jump start on the envelopes. I have them all laminated in these little sheets here. And then all I have to do is cut them apart and kind of double check that they're all sealed. So mostly I'm going to be working on my stickers and I do have a little bit of a jump start on that as well I will show you here, but yesterday I happened to get I think four large orders of stickers Which really is kind of out of the ordinary for lately I've been a little bit slower and then yesterday I just got hit with all of those orders. So I'm really happy about that. I'm excited to make these stickers I love making stickers. They're kind of a lot more fun than making the cash envelopes if I'm being honest I just really like using my silhouette and I'm going to show you how I do that today and before we get started with this video here, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of content. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. And just one more thing before we jump into this video, I do want to let you guys know that I am going to be filming a Q&A here soon. So if you have any questions for that Q&A, make sure you leave a question down in the comments below and I will try to answer those questions. And I'm also going to make my husband do it with me, so if you have any family-related questions or Etsy shop questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. So I'm in my office right now and I'm just getting on to Silhouette Studio to kind of make my stickers and I'm going to show you kind of what my steps are of doing that. So far, I already have three orders of stickers all made. I had some in my stockpile and then I did just make some of them yesterday because I had quite a few orders come in so I wanted to get a head start. But I do have one big order left to make so that will take me a little while and I'm going to show you the process of making all of those stickers right now. So my first step here is I'm going to get on my phone and scroll through this email I got and see what stickers are in this order that I need to make. This is the only order with stickers that I have left to make. Some of them I might have in my stockpile and then others I won't have so I'll have to make those. And then I will get on Silhouette and I paste the stickers together that I need to make because sometimes if someone only orders like one sheet of the pink, then maybe I'll just wanna do the pink section and not have to print out this in cut, this whole sheet. Um, so I will piece together stickers from different pages and I'm going to show you how I do that. So now here I can see that she ordered some thick washi. She ordered the D1, the leaves design. So I'm going to have to click on this and I'm going to be brought to my Etsy shop and I'll see what the design of D1 looked like. So I know she ordered the leaves and then I also see that she ordered C1, this design. Okay, so she ordered the leaves and she ordered C1 design. So I know I need to find those and let me see what other thick washi I need to find. I need the stripes A1, which I believe are the light, um, light colored stripes, yes. So this set of stripes I'll need. And then she ordered the green washi, which is awesome because I have one of those left in my stockpile. Um, and I think that's all for the, oh no, she ordered, let's see here. Um, option to be one which is the peach and I think I might have one of those in my stockpile as well now I'm going to check my stockpile and I'll see which ones I have and then I will get to work on pasting those thick washies on the same sheet um, yesterday I did have to do that so let's see I do have these two designs right here and I know I don't need this blue design so I'm gonna just delete those 
And these ones that I'm doing right now are not my saved official version. These are just the ones that I copied and pasted yesterday. I had a bunch of different pages. So here I have the stripes and I know I'm gonna need this one. So I'm going to copy that and I will paste it over here. And then I'm just gonna drag it. And I usually try to make sure that my lines are pretty much lined up on the edge so that my silhouette doesn't have a glitch and cut off. Mine has never done that, but I've heard that some people's do, so I just wanna make sure. Sometimes my silhouette will let me get away with putting things up in this space, but other times it will not, and it will not cut right if I don't do, if I don't move it down below these little guidelines here. So that's why I'm kind of wasting some of the paper. I can put things up here if I have things to put up here, but I don't wanna waste extra ink just to fill up space on my sticker sheets. So if you're wondering why I um, am wasting this extra space up here, that's why. So she also ordered these two stickers, not the blue set, but she did order this pink um, set of expense trackers as well as this colorful expense trackers down here. Um, I don't necessarily need these. These are just a sample sheet, but I think I might, um, I might print those out just to have an extra sample on hand. I think I'm going to, because I really like these. They're so pretty. So I think that will be perfect. Those will go to two separate people and I'll have two little samples. And then um, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see my whole setup here in case you are making stickers yourself and kind of want to know what I'm doing more. So now I'm going to go into my files and I'm going to find my leaves washi and I'm gonna scroll down and I'll go to my October thick washi. I don't know which one it's saved under. I think I had three. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to copy and all I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just clicking down. Um, I'm left clicking to and dragging to select all of this. And then I'm just going to come up to edit and hit copy. And then when I go over, I'm going to delete out of some of these that I don't need. So now I have a new page here and I'm going to paste so edit, paste, paste onto there. And in case you're wondering about these registration marks up here, if you don't know how to get to those, all you have to do is go up, let's see. You just have to go up in the corner here to this page setup. And then you click on this one right here, which is registration marks and they're on right now. So if you turn them off, it'll just look like that. But I always leave them on and then um, also you just go back over to page setup and if you want what you're printing out to have a print bleed you just check this little box right here and then you can set up what you want your print bleed to be i leave mine at 0 0.018 and then it's very low so that they don't all bleed together really heavy but i definitely need a bleed on most of mine not my script stickers and not my no spend stickers um, anything that has like letters that will bleed, I don't use, but if it's just bleeding out from the edges a little bit, then I definitely use the bleed. So then when you cut something, there's a little bleed and then your cut is not on the white paper. So let's see. You can see um, that these kind of bleed together, but the cut lines um, are just right and then you don't get any white in your sticker. You just get all pink. So that's what I do the bleed for in case you're wondering. And I just looked at the order and I also need these four down here. She ordered the thin washi and I will paste them. And all I did is just click on this page and then I'm going to paste them, drag them up and make sure I line them up but I leave enough space in between to cut. So I left enough space in between there to cut but I tried to line them up as best as possible. She also ordered a December planner kit with the gray trees. So I'm going to find that. That should be under, right up here, December calendar, great trees. I'll open that up. And here we have that. I'm going to delete this budget. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll just copy this calendar over. So now I'm going to paste this calendar. And as you can see, it's very close to the registration lines on each side because that's how I had to have it if I wanted these little expense dots. I might even be able to move this up just a little bit. There. 
think that's good. And then I can close out of this calendar because I only need this new one here. <laughs> and then I will just try to fit something on the bottom. So now I'm going to go through at the top and see all of the ones that I will be printing out. I'll be printing out this sheet, this sheet here, this calendar, and this calendar. And those are all the ones that I need to print. So I'll start with this one and I'm going to just make sure I have sticker paper in my printer. Just in case you're interested, I do use online label sticker paper. I use the restickable, um, I think that's what it's called, the white matte restickable, so that if you wanna lift them up when you're sticking them, you'll be able to easily remove them and reapply them. And then I'll show you my printer as well. Don't mind this door. We don't have a door that shuts, so I have to use this to keep my daughter out um, when I'm working and my husband's out there with her. This is the printer that I use. It's the HP MB Photo 7855. I found this printer by watching other YouTubers that do Etsy videos and they show um, their sticker setup. So that's how I found this printer and it has really good quality um, when I'm printing stickers. So it's been working well for me. And then this is my, I'll show you my silhouette setup here. I have this little table and then I have my ring light over to give it light. I do need to get a lamp, but for now I'm using my ring light. And it gives it light when it's cutting so that it can cut accurately. So yeah, that's my silhouette setup. And now I'm going to print out my first sheet of stickers. So when you're printing, all I'm going to do is just go up to file. And well, first I forgot to check and make sure that my print bleed is set on for all of these. So I'm just gonna go through each one and make sure that this little print bleed is checked in the bottom here like I already explained. And as you can see, it's not checked on here. So I'm going to check print bleed and then change it to 0.018 for this one. I'm going to start by printing this one and all I'm going to do is just file, print, and I'm just going to print at best quality, only one copy, and I will just click print. One downfall for me, I find, is that my Silhouette Studio takes a long time to print from. Sometimes, some days it'll go faster and other days it'll go slower. So it'll just sit here and spin until it's ready to print. And sometimes it'll even take like five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, and you have to keep refreshing your computer, like just waking it up, moving your mouse around. Um, but yeah. It takes a little while to print, but as you can see, that didn't take too long. So I'll go through and I'll print out each different sticker sheet and then we'll move on to cutting. And now that my stickers are printing out, I'm going to stick the first sheet down. So I just tore off a little cover there. And now I will stick my sheet down. And you need to make sure that it's exactly lined up in the corner here. So I have it stuck down here and now I'm going to head over to my silhouette and show you how I cut them. So the next step is that I'm going to plug in my computer to the silhouette. So I have the cord here and I have my little adapter. And then I just have to turn on the silhouette and load in the mat. And I'm just going to line up my mat here with these little arrows and click the load button. It's loaded up and ready to go. And then I'm going to send it to the silhouette. So I just have to click send here. And all I have to do is make sure that my settings are right. Sticker paper, white, it's on cut. It's force is set to five, which is what I like to set it to with my blade that I'm using. It says the silhouette's ready and it's ready to hit send. And now I have my ring light turned on and it's about ready to start cutting.
this sheet is done and I just start over and I cut, I'm going to stick the next sheet on and start cutting the next sheet. And I really want to get more of these mats because I could have the next one already ready to go to stick in, but I only have one at the moment. So now I have, I think, four sheets left printed out and I'm going to start cutting the next sheets. sheets are cut as you can see the stickers are all cut but I have not yet cut the sheets apart and I know there's a setting on the silhouette where you can have a thicker cut and then the silhouette cuts apart each sheet for you but I just have not figured that out yet and I really don't know if I would enjoy that just because when you rip them off the pad they might bend a little bit and I don't know it doesn't take me that long to cut them with my little Fiskars cutter here I like to use this one because the one that I use for my envelopes, um, when I use the blade, it really gets a lot of sticker stuck in it. But this one that has the wire here that the blade um, runs along, this one works really well. So I use this one to cut my stickers apart. I have about five sheets that I need to cut here and I'm going to get started doing that. While these were cutting on the silhouette, I wasn't really able to record because I needed to use my ring light to shine on the silhouette to give it some more light. So while I was doing that, I wasn't able to film me cutting these envelopes out, but I cut all of these apart. So these three stacks are all ready to go, and now all I need to do is finish cutting these stickers and sort them out, and then I will start packaging up my orders. <laughs> So now I'm going to print out my labels and I have all of my orders complete. I'm just going to go through really quick and make sure. So I have that one complete. I have Faith's order complete. I also have Pat's order, Stephanie's order, Maria, Amy, and Kim, and Tiffany. I think Tiffany's the last one. So those are all complete. And now I'm going to print out my labels. So I'll show you how I do that. So now the way that I print out these labels is I just come up here. I'm going to check all of them or you can just select the ones that you have done. And I'm going to click this little shipping button here. And then it's going to pull me up to each order. I'll have to go through and change the weight of some of the orders if Etsy kind of pushed the weight up because it had more items. But while I'm doing that, I can't really show you because I don't want to show anyone's addresses but I will show you how I print them out at the end. So now I have adjusted all the weights and all I have to do is change the date that everyone will be notified by, which I'm going to notify everyone Thursday, January 2nd. And then I will just review my purchase, which is this little bu button at the bottom here. And then um, it shows me I have eight labels for $22 and I already got this money um, sent to me because people paid shipping and that goes into my account which goes to buy this postage and then send me a copy of all notifications. 
I get that emailed to me, so now I will purchase. And then now I will print out my shipping labels. I will go back and I will print my packing slips. I don't print the order receipts because I find that just waste paper and I don't need to hang on to those. So just the packing slips. And now a few of these orders that have lots of stickers, I'm going to go through and check off one by one each sticker and check the quantity and make sure I have them all right. And then I will separate them into piles and start packaging up my orders.
officially done with all my orders except for, and I had to flip them upside down because I didn't want the labels to show, but except for this order, I forgot to print out one sheet of stickers. When I was going through and checking them, I realized that I was missing one, so that's why I do that. And then also this order over here, I realized that I haven't yet even made the envelopes. That one just kind of blended into my other orders. I thought I had completed all the envelopes, but I guess this one I didn't do yet. So I need to make this set of envelopes before I can mail those out. Luckily, I selected the ship date to be tomorrow, so I still have time to make those. But that is going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions for my Q&A coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.